Special occasion video, yay! Okay, um, I like this video, so a bunch of you probably saw it. This is a Halloween light show thingy, madaggy thing. Um, and a lot of people don't really, a lot of people might think this, they did DMX, they did, what did they use? Well, these are actually, I actually do stuff like this. I don't have this extravagant of equipment, but I do do this and I do know how it all works. Um, so, let me show you how it's done. Now, first off, what it is, is it's a software called Lightorama. And, you know, Lightorama is basically like a bunch of, is one software, which is this. This is a Lightorama. This is the Lightorama software. And it's basically, I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to open, I'm going to open one. I'm not going to make a new one. Um, let's see. I'm going to take one from 2010. This one. This one was from 2010. Now, basically what it is, is you might think that it's like a bunch of DMX dimmers or whatever. And it basically is. Um, Lightorama has these controller boxes, which are basically basically relay packs really um you put the uh, data in which i'll show you all the hardware in maybe another video and um this will just focus on software here and um and uh so you have all these channels and the channels are basically almost infinite i think they go up to over three thousand channels as in one universe that you can do with this software um and this is the S2 version. They have an S3 version, but I've not gotten that yet because it was just recently released. And it was basically only, and the only addition was to make these ribber, these LED like ribbons and stuff that are doing these chases and stuff, just make it easier to do in the software. Which those at work, I'll show you in a bit. They were created by this company too. But anyway, here is a sequence. Um, you can scroll down. There's 32 channels here. I have two controller boxes. Each controller box is due, uh, have 16 channels. Um, each one does 30 amps, and yeah. So basically, you can change each channel's color. Um, you can do different things, like you can um, see these fades, these up and downs, these cones or whatever. You go fade up, down, hit, fade down. You can do that by up here. Let me see, up here. You have multiple options on a shimmer, twinkle, Set intensity, a lot of stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, all right, here. Let's see. It actually still is on. This is my house with last year's light setup. Um, yeah, basically. Um, hold on, guys. Sorry. Give me a second. Simulate night time. I had to simulate nighttime. But anyway, this is basically the light setup that I had for my house. And this was a show that I had last year. So I'm just going to play it. Oh, crap. I don't know where that file is. That's... Let's put... Alright, we're not going to watch this one. We're going to have to watch Reflections of Earth. Because I do not know where... That track is. Well, let's open up Reflections of Earth instead. Okay, good. So let's now that it's working, we can close that. Open up the proper one for this channel. For this sequence, of course. Uh, simulate nighttime. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time, and this hurts my finger holding this. Ow. <laughs> Anyway, so there's my house, basically. Here's the setup. Uh, there's the roof. There's a chase effect. The, that chase was actually not put there. Uh, we had lights on these trees. There's an FM sign for telling you there's five trees here. These were actually uplight trees. I made some homemade uplighting, and I put covered those with a plastic bag. And they uplight, and they had RGB color mixing. These are some trees. These aren't actually trees here. They're over way over here, but I don't have them in the picture. And yeah, the house is uplit. And it was not as good as I thought it was going to be last year, but this year we'll see if we can do a little bit better. So let's put this over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume up. 
And I'm just gonna start the sequence. Uh, ooh, play the sequence. All right, no. As you can see, it hits that and goes down. Hits that, goes down. Actually, I'm gonna add the waveform. Converting, converting, converting. Sorry, this is taking forever. Converting, converting. Uh, work faster. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now that we got that, now it's gonna deplay. Um, you can see the waveform at the top there where these hits are, and you can see on my, on this thing here that it's doing what I had it doing in the software. Um, I'll just let this play and you guys can see. <clears throat> Excuse me. These were actually color mixing those trees. This main part over here is trees. This section here is trees. That, that's house. That's a chase effect. The house did color mixing and so did the trees. Now, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this software. This is the bare, bare, bare bones. Um, I, as I said before, I'll, in the next video, I'll show you the hardware. And I will be giving you updates for the show that I'm doing this year. And don't worry about that. Uh, but I'm just trying to give you an introduction to this, this how this all works. Um, now, this software can be purchased from Lightorama's website for, I believe, $100. The they have lots of different options for controller boxes. You can buy metal ones that cost 350 that are really high quality, handle 30 amps. You can build your own from like 150 and these can also be used for let's just have this thing. So that was a sh that was one of my shows last year. And um da -da -da -da. let's make it really small. I'm gonna scroll across. Um, but yeah, so that's how it works. Now, basically what you have is you have, you can create, let's see, select feature. I can't, what you do is when you're making, when you're creating something, if I, let's say right here, see where this, this hit is? Sorry, I, I'm not paying attention, I gotta pay attention to the camera too. See where this hit is? See where these are? So if I wanted this to do this fade down, I go up here, select fade down, grab here, drag a big box. Of course, when this pops up, this will tell you all the channel timings and all that stuff. Let go, you click it, and your effect is created. If you want to see here, that's just created that effect. I'm gonna delete that. You can right click and it gives you all the options. I usually just right click and off. And you can do all these crazy, crazy, crazy things with the software. Um, now, that's how that works. Now let's go over here. Now on the side here is where you have all of your certain channels. Um, like this one says red house. This one is greenhouse. House green, house blue, chase one, chase two, chase three. Tree one red, tree two, tree one green, tree one blue, etc. And it goes down. Um, if we go to tools here and we go to channel property grid, this will give you all the channel assignments um, unit is the controller box. Um, now, because these trees were on a different controller box, I, as you can see, when you start to this tree, this channel here, it's on a different, it's on a different box than what was above it. And when you scroll down, all the way down, you can see where channel two box ends up, and channel one continues. And then at the end, channel two has one channel here at the end of my what I have for the visualization on this software for programming. So you can do all this crazy, crazy stuff. You can change its color, what its name, type of controller. It has actually, you can do kind of some really cool stuff. And uh, no, I don't like to save because that was last year. Um, and that's how that works. Now, um, I will give you, oops, someone 
chatting me. But I'll give you a rundown of some hardware setup in the next video. Thanks for watching.